Today, friends, we're going to quickly update the firmware, the Artillery XWS4 Pro. So let's get cracking. Friends, let's start by tracking down the firmware. Of course, I'm on my website instead of the Tinkercad tab, though. I'm going to move to the 3D printer tab and the Artillery SW4 page. Of course, you can track down my projects here, assemble and level, first print, and the full playlist. Of course, we are headed right here. Of course, right now there are deals on the X4 Pro. Make sure you check them out. We're going to choose support and we're going to choose download. Note we have Artillery Slicer, which I've been using. We also have settings for Orca Slicer. That'll be coming up later. We have the M600 command being added. There's a configuration file. And down here is our new firmware. I want the SWX4 Pro, which we can download with that link. I have already done it, but you would simply click download and pick a location on your computer. Once you have the file, you do want to find the how to update firmware. Now this doc scrolls a long ways and there's a lot of blank space between it. So I have taken the time to put it in a more condensed version. Let me show you how this works. Friends, I've just inserted my USB drive. This is our file. I'm going to right click, drag it, and then I use 7-zip so I can simply click extract here. Now that that file's available, we can head over to the 3D printer. All right, so let's insert the USB drive and power it up. And because of printer noise, the rest of this audio will be added via video editing. All right, so I'm also going to use video editing to speed this up. I will tell you right now, the entire process took about 34 minutes from beginning to end. Right here, we've got about two minutes before boot. Click Tools, choose About, and hit Renewable System. After about three minutes of waiting, you'll get to the screen here where you can click OK. This process takes a little over eight minutes in real time. Of course, I'm speeding it up with video editing. Once it finishes, it does reboot on its own. The boot now, instead of two minutes we had at the start of this video, is under a minute. Now we need to simply reset it to factory settings, about, and choose factory reset. This only took about 20 seconds. And then we want to choose OK to enter the boot interface. There are eight of these steps and the first few happen automatically. You can see here it is checking the X and Y axis and comes out OK and moves right on to Z all by itself. The nozzle and bed heating took about five minutes to complete. Once again, we'll zip through that with some video editing skills, though. Now we're going to adjust the Z axis offset. We can start by clicking Next Step. Before we go to the next step, make sure you remove any filament that's come out of your nozzle so far. Note it is super hot, so use the end of a screwdriver or something, as I did right here. And then you can simply hit Next Step. The platform and nozzle will adjust position to initialize so that we can do the Z offset process. You can expect to wait about 40 seconds for it to get in place. Now you can find your piece of paper and use the up and down buttons and the different amounts of movement to find the friction that you want. Notice if you look at the very top, you can see what it's at. Right there, I'm at 0 0.1, and you can just keep adjusting until the friction is how you want it. I continue this process until I can feel it just tug as I slide the paper underneath. I spent about a minute adjusting it here. Once you're happy, you can hit first completed, and it saves. This saving process takes a little bit more than a minute. Once that saves, we complete the process a second time, which of course took me another minute or so. And then finally we could hit second completed. That saving process took about a minute and then of course it initialized. I chose to do one more check and a couple tiny adjustments. And then the final save and exit. Once that saves and reinitializes, we can start the automatic bed leveling process. And this process wrapped up in just a little under seven minutes. Once that finishes, you can hit next step and it'll save. Then on the next screen, you can choose to load consumables or just hit next step 
which is what I chose before finally clicking finish. All right, so well, let's quickly run through what we get from this firmware update. I'll let you pause and read these at your leisure. There are seven bug fixes and there are 11 feature enhancements. I have not played with any of these yet. Please let me know in the comments which one of these you are most excited about. Friends, that was 30 some minutes of footage compressed down to about five. Love the X4 Pro. Gotta admit that that is the longest firmware upgrade I do for any of the 3D printers I work with. I am looking forward to showing you guys how those features work in upcoming videos. Friends, I wanna quickly thank my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that group is growing. You can check out information below or the bit.ly up above. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time that you hit that like button, share a video, or add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.